Welcome to Beer Disciples. I'm Ross Quintana. I'm Richard Callahan. And this is another glorious beer from Hair of the Dog that I'm very excited about. I've had one of theirs and I loved it. And so I'm excited to try another. Let's crack into it. Yeah, doggy claws here. Give you that. It's so. from Hair of the Dog Brewing, uh, which was founded in 1993 out of Portland, Oregon. And the style is American Barley Wine. This is 11.5 ABV and 170 IBUs. So these are bottle conditioned, so uh, so they'll continue to age. So we're going to have to kind of do a 50-50 pour and share the last bit here so that we get what's in the bottom, I believe. Well, 12 ounces, keep in mind, we're going yeah, three, exactly. three glasses on we're this. We're not going three glasses on this. I know you, you want more than a thimble, so... Let's take a look at this. I heard this was really highly carbonated, but oh well. Wow. Yeah. That... Boy, that's got a beautiful color. Look at yeah. the color on that head. That is nice. There we go. I tried it. Man, I can smell it from it's here. Nice... It's smelling good. Beautiful caramel color. Nice orange oh. notes. Wow, they just don't put that much in a 12 ounce, do they? Man, that is, oh, it smells so good from here, though. I can yeah. already smell it. It's really nice. Yeah, the mouth is watering. So, uh, real quick, what you got here. You got uh, Pilsner malts and British Crystal, and the hops are Amarillo and Simcoe. Okay, so this is pretty impressive. I'm going to tell you, this looks like caramel, the caramel apple, right? Yeah. Doesn't it? Very much it looks like caramel like apple. A, a caramel apple from the fair. I mean, they've totally impressed me before with the looks... Uh, uh, of their beers, and, and this isn't the exception. I gotta give it a five on appearance. It's fantastic looking. It's Absolutely, amazing. five on appearance on that. Let's go to the nose. Oh, sweet. Sweet orange. It's got a sweet orange. I was uh, say Mother of Mary, and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Peep, tell my Catholic peeps out there. <laughs> um, sweet orange uh, profile uh, on the hops. Um, it's, it seems as it warms up a little bit, it's getting sweeter. When we first cracked it, it was a little more hoppy. The hops are starting to fade a little bit. It's just a, it's a perfect smelling, uh, barley wine. I'm going to give it a five on smell. Wild mountain honey right over the top. <sighs> Senko hops, you can, you can tell they're, they're, they're citrusy, but it's a little subdued. 70 BT, uh, BTUs. <laughs> That's right, this yeah. thing's cooling the room off, folks, but with 70 BTUs. <laughs> I need more. Um, no, uh, 70 IBUs on that. So you've got the uh, Amarillo and the, and the Simcoe um, kind of will give it that pininess. And, and, uh, it has a very syrupy, sticky smell. Like it's like a resiny ness to it. It's The I, Mount Hood honey, you know, kind of mellows that all out. And I, I think feel like that's going to... I feel like the taste is going to match the... All the, right. Who can wait? Uh, smell, I'm going to go five on that. Yeah. Oh what have you done? Wow, such layers and depth without like, there's like no carbonation in the mouth. I don't know if you noticed that, but it's not that it's flat. It's got enough, just barely enough carbonation to like wash it away. But there's like so many layers. Like there's, there's the honey, there's the hops. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a little bit of bitterness in the back. But there's no business in the back. We can't business in the say back. that here. It's, there's, a, there's, a, a, there's really a lot going on with this, and it's uh, it's got an overwhelming taste. Yeah, this... Five for me. It's amazing. This is impressive. It almost tastes like toffee. Like if you... if You know, there's there's Southern Tears Creme Brulee, and if you told me this was the, the, the Southern Tier toffee, I'd believe you. Um, it, it just tastes great. A little bit of uh, orange peel also. You, you can you pick up on those 70 IBUs at the end on the finish. It's drying. Yeah. Um, it comes through, but you still got that sweetness. Taste to me, um, I got to go five on that. It's it's really good. I mean, they do a great job. How about mouthfeel? It's really amazing. Mm. Man, the layers that hit you. It's just really smooth. It's, it's like a soft mouthfeel, if you can have that. But then it like radiates different like s moments of sweetness, moments of you know underlying hot. It reminds me of like a tidal wave. It's kind of just like circling and it, it comes and goes. Yeah, I mean you but can it, tell. We it, always say you can tell when you look at the glass 
a quality beer, and and when it starts off a five in appearance, usually the rest follows pretty good. Yeah, it's uh, five on mouthfeel just because it's so amazing. Yeah, the mouthfeel is good for me. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go four on the mouthfeel, even though I like what it's doing. I feel like a little more hop profile. I wouldn't mind. I know it's a barley wine. I know it's a big malt, but if it was just a little bit, I mean, we've experienced Southern Tier where where it feels like they're holding the dogs back, you know, that, from a. Wouldn't from it go more to taste them. than mouthfeel though? Um, no, because for me, uh, I want a little bit more, um, a little more separation in the mouthfeel. For me, the mouthfeel, it's it's it moves as a whole. Where like Southern Tier, you get like phases of different things. This. You get a couple phases, but some of the beers we've had, you get four or five phases through the mouthfeel. Hmm. And so for me, I feel like this is, you know, it's at least four. I could go four or five, but but I'm going to go with four on it. Um, I love the beer. I love the taste. But also, the, the part of the reason that might be is because it's it, it was released in November. So now we're seven months out, and that could be what it is. The, the, I'm guessing it was maybe slightly more lively. Um, when it was new. So, I don't know. That's where I'm going to go. Um, let's go to drinkability. I'm going to tell you. You know when you drink, and then you just like, you're like sucking it like a straw? That's what I did with this one. I don't do that with a lot of beers. That's how yeah. tasty this it's, was. I mean, five for drinkability is no question. Yeah. All the way around, this is an A+. Uh, this might be the best mm -hmm. barley one. I think this is the best barley one I've ever had. It's, uh, oh, man, this is impressive. It's very yeah, amazing. It's, to... it's too drinkable because it's 11, 11. 11.5. Is that yeah, what you said? Yeah, how crazy is that? 11% on the bottle, it says. But it's like this is one beer that you just want to gulp. It's You don't yeah. want to stop drinking it. It's too good. Yeah, literally. Um, yeah, I'm going to upgrade my mouthfeel on the 4.5 on that. Maybe I was being harsh. Um, yeah. This is a work of art. It's just a beautiful thing. Yeah, this is this is a great beer. And and some of the people online who've rated this, uh, Beer Geek Nation, but not Chris. It was uh, it was one of the other guys. I don't know if they they spread it around there, but uh, I think it was yeah, J Jameson's uh, beer reviews from Beer Geek Nation and uh, Mark from the Grand Old Hoppery. Uh, Mark had this rated. I wanted I want to say in his top five beers of all time. And I can see it. I believe the hype. Um, I'm I'm going to agree with you on this. Uh, for me, uh, this whole experience, I, I almost feel like I went too fast on it. I would have rather slowed down and enjoyed this. Um, this is an A plus for me. It's an amazing beer. If you see it, get it. It's worth it. Yeah. I thought whatever the, the price on it was like six dollars for a twelve ounce. I thought that was steep, but no, it's worth every penny. Yeah, compare that to to worldwide stout from Dogfish at ten bucks. I'm like, yeah, right. It wasn't that great. Sorry, Sam, but it wasn't that mind blowing to me. Not ten dollar twelve ounce. This yeah. would be actually though. Yeah.